finally managed to chop down that tree. It only took me about 20 minutes and um, yeah. But at least we've got um, loads of saplings. We've got 40, so that's really good. I'll be able to make quite a lot of um, dirt, which means we'll be able to make quite a lot of stone. Probably not enough, but um, I don't know. I do hate the big trees, but they are quite useful. And oh, we got some pumpkin seeds out of that. That's cool. So we go, we've got another piece of cobblestone. Two down, four to go, I think. Yeah, four to go, yeah. So, we've done quite, I've done quite good. Quite good progress. I need to break those two leaves, but I think they'll probably despawn naturally. So fine for now. Um, I'm going to put down this chest because it is kind of annoying me that that, that one's getting quite full. Um, I'll probably just stick it up like here. So it's out of the way. Oops, just hit my mic. I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess we'll start putting like... I don't know, just kind of like random things in here. Um, some string we don't need on us. Bones, actually. That is really good because we'll be able to make a um, hammer now. or well, not a hammer, an axe. That'll be really awesome. So I don't need that one there. Okay, so we need the axe. What do we need? Okay, we do just need a head, an axe head and a stick. And I guess we can use a bone for that as well. Um, I'd like to use cobble, but we don't really have enough to be able to do that yet so there we go we have a hatchet now and that could have been useful whilst I was taking down that giant tree that took me about 20 minutes but you know it's all right we've got some apples as well so we can get our hunger up a tiny bit more I did try eating these um this uh bacon jerky but it only goes up like one heart or something which is kind of ridiculous but um oh well and uh yeah Okay, I guess we can look what other quests we have. So we have, we've done that one, the carpenter shop. So what's the next one? Smoother silk. So we need to make a fishing rod, a hammer and a bed. Which means, oh look, we get a shiny stone axe. Ooh. So we will need to actually make another tree thing. Ooh, kill a total of three zombies. Yay. So we got that. Librarian, we need to make a book binder. I'll have a look at that and see what we need. But, um... Okay, so we need to make these things. I guess um, we'll make another thingy tree, um, silk worm tree thing, and I'll put that in there as well. I wonder if you can, buy, can combine those two to make like um, a three and a quarter hearts, but I don't know. I'll eat these apples because why not? We have them with us. Mm -mm. That zombie's still in the water, in case you could hear him. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. And there we go, we can fill this up again. Lots of saplings, which is really good. So I'll put um, this one over here for the um, silk once again, so it's just out the way. Actually, I tried that before there and it didn't work. I guess I'll put it down here again. I just, like, I worry because of the edge there, but oh well. It'll do. Um, I'll put this last piece here. Of dirt, and then we've got like our five tree things, so that'll be quite good. And we could that can use our hatchet on the trees, which is awesome because it'll be a lot quicker and saves us, I don't know, taking ages. And I do need some more crooks, so um, sticks and crook. There you go. So we can get rid of these leaves and hopefully get some more apples because I like my apples. Living on this island, you would get, like, so fit because not only are you running around doing lots of work, but all you're eating is apples and a little bit of beef jerky or bacon jerky or whatever it is. With all the apples you're eating, I don't know, you'd just be so healthy. <laughs> Probably not really, actually, because, you know, you don't have a balanced diet and everyone knows you need a balanced diet to be healthy, but, you know, oh well. Okay, so I'll get this bone meal out and just um, use that on that tree. Oh, I thought I might have done a big tree then. Hate big trees. <laughs> I say it all the time and I'll say it again. I'll, I hate big trees. They're just so annoying. We've got six silkworms. That's pretty good. It means it should go quite quickly. There we go. Try and spread them out a bit. So, oh, that really wasn't very spread out. But oh well. 
Um, I am actually probably going to fill up that patch there because it's really annoying me and really kind of scaring me that I'm going to fall off the edge. Uh, I probably won't, but... Oh, that's it. Just chuck your crook out whilst you're trying to use it. <sighs> and we've got another silkworm, so we can add that to our tree. And I'll put it up there. There we go. And it's turning night, and I really am looking forward to getting a furnace so we can smelt some wood and get some torches up here. Some glowstone would be nice as well because um, one of the mods in here that we have is, uh, I think it's open blocks and basically you can kind of like carve down um, kind of like full size blocks and you can make um, pillars and stuff so like these are pillars and then you can make uh, these things which are like strips and you can make um, the thing underneath the glass there that's a cover. Oh, so is this, the glass covers. And you can make little nooks, which are tiny little um, things which you can just like stick in a corner. But if you make them out of glowstone, then it'll light it up just like normal glowstone. But it won't um, take up as much room. And it looks really nice, so that'll be quite nice to have. There we go, We've got lot more, lots more composting. And we can use these two pieces of dirt to get some more stone. And then hopefully we can make a uh, furnace. And I will, like, at some point try and make a cobblestone generator. But um, it does take a while to kind of get there. This is like a long-winded series where you have to do a lot of stuff to get um, started. But once you have got started, then I think it is quite quick to, um, I don't know, carry on, if that makes sense. Probably not, but it does to me. <laughs> It's like once you've established everything it is quite quick to just keep going all right i do not want to fall off this slab is this is that a top slab or a bottom slab problem is because all this is slabs i don't know so that's a normal block so that's a top slab and this is a bottom slab okay that's good because mobs won't spawn on there i was trying to work out like what's what but See, look, this is a notch, and if, if you um, break that down, you get a nook, and that's what um, looks really nice, but we do need glowstone to make that, and you can make glowstone. Like, what you do is, once you've got the sieves, and once you've got, um, I don't know, you can, like, make a hammer, and then you break down um, stone, and it makes, like, um, it makes, I think sand no it makes gravel first and then you can use the hammer to break the gravel and it makes um sand and then you can break the sand and makes dust and basically if you sieve all them things you get ores or like you get bits of ores and then you can smelt those bits of ores and they turn into the, like the ore so it's really cool and that is how you kind of like get around everything with not having anything on the island and i think it's quite good because then you can have like a tiny island and you don't have to worry about not having like iron and stuff because you can just make it eventually so I'm just gonna fill this up and I don't know we'll probably use this eventually and put like build something in the middle maybe like a fountain that'd be quite nice a little fountain but at the minute I just want to do it so I don't fall off and die then I'm probably going a bit over the top I don't think we need it this big but well um, I do have the crafting station I guess I can just put that down in here put that that there as like a half slab um, make some more half slabs because even if we don't use them here then we'll be able to use them with our um what's it called over there our mob spawner that is <laughs> i'm kind of hesitant to go over there and start building it because i really don't want mob spawning um because i don't kind of don't want to die you know as most people don't <laughs> but especially since it's my last life since i died of hunger which i don't think is fair i don't think that counts but you know whatever I'm not the one making the rules, so. Um, okay, I guess I'll just put one more here. Ah, there we go. And I guess I can just like kind of make some fences to put along there. It's quite cool, there's like a little um, archway or something. I might, en might end up building like a house down here, that might be quite cool, like underneath the island. But for now, there we go. And we have got Oh no, see look, this is what I didn't want to happen before, that's why I put this out the way, because I didn't want it to spread onto this tree, but 
oh well, it has now. There's nothing we can really do about it. But I could start breaking these and get some more string and I don't know why it wasn't letting me pass there. Um, I need another crook. It's actually quite handy having that um, state crafting station there because I can just use that to make like crooks and stuff. Oh, I keep forgetting to um, make sticks first. Oh well. There we go. Got some more crooks and we can get some more string. I really wish vein miner was in this. That'd be easier to like get all the leaves and stuff. Maybe I'll try and add it in. Hmm, I don't know. There we go. We don't really need as much string as we're probably going to get from here. I didn't realise it would spread onto the other tree as well. I didn't really think about that, but oh well. I hear a mob. And it's probably that one down there. That zombie is really annoying me. I might just float down and try and kill it because it's just being obnoxious. An obnoxious zombie. Oh well. <laughs> okay, get rid of the rest of these. And I'm just going to go in and get them. There we go. Uh, unfortunately we don't get any like apples from these um, infested uh, leaves but you can cook the um, silkworms I think I said that already but you can cook the silkworms once you have a furnace which we will hopefully have soon because it was really annoying me not having like a furnace there we go we should get the rest of these Ooh, some string over there I'll get it in a second after I've chopped down this tree and I really do like having an axe, it makes it so much easier, or a hatchet as they call it. And I like having that like platform there, kind of makes me feel a bit safer about not falling off and stuff. There we go. Get the last of these. And then I can break this and I can use it to make some, what's it called? Oh, I forgot what it's called. I can use it to make um, some stone, that's it. Or to make some dirt, rather. There we go, and we can sieve this. There we go, got three pieces to sieve. So actually, this should make the last of the stone that we need, and we can make a furnace then, and start cooking some stuff. Mainly, um, some... What's it called? some uh, charcoal and we can make some torches and we actually have more than enough so that's good and the reason we only need six pieces is because with Tinker's Construct you can make half slab um, furnaces so there we go we have a half slab furnace and I guess I can put that there and I can uh, make some charcoal which I'm super excited about because we can light up the island finally and we can also cook our silkworms with our thingy and oh look this is a really tiny tree that's so cute but we can cook some silkworms and hopefully avoid dying of hunger again and we won't have to worry about constantly getting apples and then we can carry on with our thing as well our um, mob spawner and all will be good And then hopefully soon we'll be able to make a cobblestone generator. And as I said, I have a really good way of making um, like cobblestone generation. And it's an automatic, like it automatically uh, collects the cobblestone and stuff so you don't have to do it. So it is really good. And I'll show you that once we get to it again. But yay, look, we can make some torches. And light up this island finally oops throwing the coal everywhere um, I'll probably just switch out that um, wood and just use charcoal instead there we go where are these torches there they are so I wonder if F7's on so we can see yeah okay see and um, where all the crosses are that means um, that mobs can spawn there because they're yellow it means that they can spawn there um 
when it is uh, dark. If they were red, it, it would mean that they can spawn there, whether it's light or dark, and it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to put torches down everywhere to try and get rid of all these um, crosses. Because I really don't want to have to deal with mobs spawning on my island. There we go. And make sure they're all covered. And make sure there aren't any red ones anywhere. Because when they're red it means they can spawn whether it's night or not. And we've actually run out and we need some more food. So bacon jerky it is until... I don't know. See this is really weird. Like sometimes it gives you one high, like hunger thing. And sometimes it gives you half. Weird bacon jerky. <laughs> oh well. So there we go. Make some more torches and finish up lighting the island. And is there anything where up here? Yep, there. And there. And there. And there. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think that our island is fully lit up. That's good. Oh, there's that one spot there. Um, that I can't really cover. Oh gosh! What? Oh, I almost got flung off there. I don't know how, but I did. That's annoying. I am just gonna, if I can. There we go. Stick that block there. Whew. Oh, that about gave me a heart attack. Well, that's a good signal to end the episode, having a heart attack of almost flying off the edge.